Hello everyone, my name is Demon5 and welcome to Cozy Craft Season 2. Where today I uh I'm like late through the season. I but I uh finally done like I've done some progress. I uh got copper, I but uh apparently some people have already started to build houses and I'm surprised on how fast J Voss built. Wait, so, something I was that Max built? Well, that's Max's house. I'm still like the cliff. And like over there is like Stubbis, someone else, and like someone else is up there. And like there's like violence around here. I think Tyler is also. I don't know. But um, I'm surprised how fast people build. And the bridge is still cool. But uh, today I'm going to be, I'm trying to like have the copper oxidize. And I uh, also build the secret underground mini museum here showing off my map of how the place used to look like and it looks pretty cool and like having some materials it's like steampunk and modern as usual and i'm thinking to build my base on top of here like to like or something i'm thinking and i have like all this mud and a mangrove wood, some other woods, like trying to figure out like what to build. And where did my spruce wood go? Um so what took my spruce wood? Oh, that's just great. Well, I wasn't expecting that. And uh, I know it's everything is oxidizing, but uh I don't have wax. Oh uh, boy. And I had that. Spruce wood, but uh, who took it? Oh boy. Yep, yeah, yeah, but anyways, uh, let's get to building. And uh, we're back. I uh, done some progress on the build. And also, I forgot to say that these two pickaxes, the Fortune 3 and Silk Touch, came from Max. Thank you very much. And apparently, the base next to Max over there is the uh, Violet's base. I did not know. Oh. F in chat for Violet. Oh God! And uh, I also done like a cherry. I, I don't know like what cherry can be cool in Steampunk and Modern, but I like this. I found the uh, quartz in my chest. I do not know where that came from. Maybe someone when they were taking my spruce, they like, oh, let me give this person some quartz because like I'm taking their six times of spruce wood. Gosh dang it! And I connected my base to this area, and I had like this signs put up, but I don't think I need them anymore since I. Uh, and since I already have shown this, I don't need the signs anymore. And up here, like this is like the entrance. I'm gonna move the horses maybe to here. Like maybe this will be the stable, I guess. Maybe I don't know. And up here is like the two staircases. And like right here is like I'm trying to like maybe think of dividers of walls like there's two doors here, two doors here, and like maybe a bedroom or something. I don't know. I'm trying to think of design, but it's all on the fly. It looks really cool. Like you'll never see a tutorial on this type of building ever. And honestly, I love how it looks. It looks cool, even like the little trap doors here having like extra deal detail and having this copper here trying to work with some wax i don't have a lot and trying to oxidize some copper i just hope no one like unoxidizes the copper like whoops or something <laughs> yeah and um i'm thinking maybe you have like our own little shopping district right here i do not know and somewhere in the future thinking of having like maybe a bridge from here to here there like to like where my mega base is gonna be, so I'm gonna. Hot you! Oh, and oh wow, look at that beautiful roof I made. Uh, so to get rid of the netherrack, have to finish up like some copper there. I don't have it. <laughs> copper. Uh, that's a lot of copper, and I like that little hook, but I uh, did not know I had it too wide. That was one wide, but I like it. That's really cool. And I have some more bees and uh, also the other person was like an adapter or whatever. Uh, I don't know when he's new, but 
Yeah. And I got some more horses. I bought another horse. I moved the horses and I finished this area. It's really nice. I have the nice two stairwells and then I got the middle. Maybe a pet stuff for something. And then there's like this beautiful copper with the spruce looking really cool. And I guess I'm going to have a third floor. Maybe the attic or something else. And I was thinking like in the underground down here, I was thinking maybe I can build a, uh, a rail network like from here to Violet's house or Max's house, like all the way to there. And like be really cool like how like a uh, green did and, like his mail system all the way to mumbo space so like i'm maybe i can do the same thing going all the way to them but in secret but not knowing but yeah and it'll look pretty cool so uh and right here i built most of the tunnel it I actually took a lot longer to do, but the thing is, I got most of it, but not all of it. And I have the rail done. I got the sea lanterns from Max. He gave them to me. And he went to the end, got shulkers, but the thing is, without defeating the ender dragon. And man, it looks so good, but I think there's some lag on the server. Eh, honestly, it's not too bad. And this goes all the way. Oh, right, I forgot. I don't know. <laughs> this thing's gone down. Like, a lot more people have joined our area, which is, like, uh, Winterby and... Who else was it? I forget. But, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Pullman and also. And, man, there's... Oh, good people here. And, and this goes all the way to Violent Space. And, like, right here is, like, her aquarium. Put a second floor down. Oh, that's cool. And right here is Max's build with a genius living in the house. I know, like right there, like Winterby was building her house, but now I guess it's gone. And uh, yeah, that's Dave Austin's build. I like the windmill, and like that's her garden. And I'm like, I still have no idea whose house is that. And yeah, and uh, it looks really good here. And I think I'm gonna build a little shop. Even though I haven't. Finish my house. It's just a work in progress. I'm gonna get more material, but maybe like somewhere here, maybe like where that little oak tree is. Maybe that's gonna be like a, a shopping district or something. I don't know. Like where I'm gonna set up my shop. So apparently, when I was off the server, there's like a whole thing going on on the server. Like, so the area I'm living in, I did not know there was a a rename to Dragonville. I have no idea what's Dragonville, but apparently it's called Dragonville now. And also there's an election like, going on like, with vice president and president or mayor. I am so confused what's going on and I wish I was on server two. But what the heck is going on right now? So I'm really confused. Um, let's hop back to the video. So the only ones who are present are Ashley, Adam, Steam, and Lightning, right? All right, Steam Boy, what? Is your speech <laughs> when i become mayor there'll be a brand new shopping district right here and we will have a great empire with a beautiful running metro network underground and having nice bridges they are really nice wow all right adept what is your um speech uh if you don't vote through me i'm gonna <laughs> <laughs> all right that's that's good that's good. So, my plan for Dragonville, I would like to lead people here. A free community. I would want everyone to feel welcome here and everyone to be able to find this place. Thank Give you. it up. Give it up for Sardine. So, a lot happened between the voting and stuff. So, like, me and Ash were in a tie, and then, like, Ash left, and now I am the mayor of Dragonville, apparently. So, uh, <laughs> well, this is surprising. Uh, what am I going to do now? Um, well, what I said in there, yes, I am thinking of having the rail and making it look better. Yeah, I also have to have a shopping district, so this is going to be interesting. Do I have to move my house now? I don't know. Yep. Anywho. Yep. Now, let's get back to Dragonville. 
And I see now why is Dragon Bill because Max had a dragon and he called it Dragon Bill. I uh, was doing a little bit off cam, just a little bit, just a little. Uh, right here, like doing a tiny little clip, like the tiniest one. Like it's a little cutie. Look at this little cutie pie, and like just having like some ter terraforming here, just so like have a nice bridge from here to there, or like from there to here, and having a little mine shaft, like I don't like. Someone's doing a mine shaft in here, there, but I don't think that will be it. I think this will be cooler, but just some little details, you know, like having like the nice spruce and then like having like all these like cobble and stuff like that. So like maybe like around here ish, maybe like around here you have it, and then like one, two, three, like we have it like right here, and like we have like this here, and then like. Yeah, you're having like the whole bridges here, and it's like really cool. It's like five wide, but it'll be like a nice like like arch or something. I don't know, you can say. But yeah, and it'll be really cool looking. Like maybe like everyone can mine in here and like have a whole mine shaft of some sort. Like it'll be cool. And like you having like all this cool detail. Like it's like maybe you have a going like this or something like the cave like a like almost like a sort of a old school or like a steampunkish like mineshaft looking thing like here that'd be really cool it's so like yeah like right like this beautiful like the mineshaft will be like this really beautiful looking and then like have like oh did i just press the brakes and oh and like you have like this like coming out like a little bit of uh and like mine into it, like having like some detail of some sort, something like this, and like having a really cool looking. I'm not very good with a uh, landscaping because I didn't do landscape before. And then like right here, you have like a little rail system, like from the mine shaft, and then like wooden here, and then like you have a train here, then going all the way there and like back and forth, like spring resources for like logs and stuff you know it's like pretty cool looking right here like then a little bit of decorating like you no know, like i'm trying to do a little bit more detail since like i didn't really get to do that much detail last season i just done a lot more builds but it looks much uh, better looking like it looks really you're okay, you have the little trap doors here, like on here, to make it more reinforced or something. And having like buttons, the stairs, making it look it's have more detail, have a lantern. And like here, like making it look like it shows like all of your pickaxes are here. And having like here's like a like a post, like and it's like a little old and like it just fell this port. And then like, maybe the other one just ran away or something. And having a little bit another desk. And pretty much like, like this is the mine shaft you're gonna just be mining here, and yeah, and um, I'm like thinking maybe really like it should go all the way to deep state level maybe or like a vertical mining or something maybe, but yeah, and I really do need this coal because like my mute just gave me a a, a lot of copper and <laughs> thank you for that, and this cave was actually here when I mined I was not expecting there would be a cave. And it goes like really deep, I have no idea how deep. But um, it looks really good. And like, and people will be going here as like, it's like a community mine shaft. And like right here, I done a little bit of uh, bridges. It's just quick, it's like, it's like, it's just a quick bridge going from one end to another. It's not like fully detailed, but uh, it's like a rough look. Like, I want to go more detail. Like, I don't want to, finish a whole build with all super detailed it's just not gonna be right but in a couple of episodes you're gonna have this finished but the thing is I don't have enough copper this takes a lot of copper oh boy <laughs> and, you know, I also used the sea lanterns that Max gave me and there's gonna be like maybe my mega base is gonna be there and like maybe the airship or something I don't know and, like like, I want to go more detail into this season. Like, I just love 
like how much detail you can do in such a short amount of time. And it's like so good. A little glyph here. It's just like so small. And like it wasn't here, but it just looks something in the was missing and it looks so good with that i love it so yeah like you have the community mine shaft you have the ice bridge this has to have like a pass or something and with some detail i'm uh, gonna just do the detail work more like next episode but also i know and the mayor actually i really like how like uh winter's doing her japanese style Master, but I know the portal is small, but I'm thinking maybe the portal can be there in the middle, like a little bit of steampunk or something. I don't know. Just looking like more part of the community, or okay, it's just like out of place, but or somewhere from the mine shaft, you know, and they get coming, coming from the mine shaft across the bridge or something. I don't know. I love how this place is so thriving, and it's like it's a really interesting neighbors. Like, yeah, but. Japanese style, you have like, I don't know, I do not know all the styles, but it looks cool. I think just like the other house there, I have no idea what house, what style that is, but it looks cool. And then I just love how everything looks. The detailing here is awesome. And like the shopping district, maybe can be underground, I don't know. Like, it just depends. It's just a lot of detail work, you know? I've just been passing by. And just see, like, Mew just build, like, a big community portal, like, for the spawn. Like, instead of, like, using that tiny wingy one, we're using this big one, I guess, now. It looks so cool. I'm, like, I did not know it would be built so fast. It looks so cool already. Like, I know, like, that, but, dang. I was just, like, over there trying to, like, go underground, like, to make, like, my little shop first. And then I see this in the distance, and then like, thinking, holy. God, that looks so cool. And then, like, I'm just, like, amazed on how cool that looks. It's, like, maybe even I have a crane or something from, like, the train in the back, and, like, it's, like, plopping the portal down, maybe you can say. I don't know. <laughs> it's, like, so cool looking. Dang. I definitely want to add something to the portal. I don't have the resources, but, man, I like that. Oh, I'm no on hunger. But, uh, I did get some basic resources, maybe for, like, a little shop. I don't know. Just makes me think, like, like with these, like, resources, maybe some of these, like, go down here, like, there's a zombie spawner, but it's going all the way down here. Yeah, like, right here is, like, the big cave. Just, I was not expecting. But it just looks so cool looking. But maybe, like, here can be some kind of shopping district underground instead of being above ground. Maybe it's something really cool looking. Because, like, I see every time, like, having, like, a shopping district above ground, but never seen one underground. So, like, why not try and, like, have, like, an underground one? Because, like, look at this cave. It looks so cool looking and open. I can have, like, a little shop here, like, part of the cave here. Oh, copper. Don't mind if I do, I need a lot of copper. I don't have enough copper. I, mean, I know I get a lot of copper, but I don't have enough copper. Oh, some more iron. I need iron. The thing is, I haven't found diamonds. Only in a mine shaft, like two, but I used it on an accident. I have no idea where that went. I don't know. I think here would be okay, right? Or. Yeah, I think here it's like a little bit more of a in center, but it's like right here having it. Just a tiny little shop. Underground. It's so like one, two, and then having one, two. And then you have like porch, and then you have redstone lamp there, and then you have like these cool little trap doors like going around here. So like, oh, I didn't think about that part, but uh, yeah, but something like that, making it look a little bit more sturdy looking, but something like this, that actually you can see is a magical shop, not of trinkets or something, you know, just having it look cool, just a little bit more detail, right, actually right there. So right here, like, is the hole going down to, well, the zombie spawner, but then you're going all the way here from the zombie spawner to a cave. I just like made it a little bit nicer. I 
I cannot break that because my pick broke, but it makes it all much nicer and having that nice stairwell all the way to my little shop. And Jessie, like, who just left, wants me to sell X models, and she actually would pay me two diamonds each, like for each X model. <laughs> so yeah, that'd be nice. And man, my first little shop, officially, like, I had my other shop, but this is much cuter and simpler. I like it. It looks so cute in this cave. Man, just with some building blocks, it just looks so much better looking. It just looks so good, honestly. So, my shop is uh, almost open. So, yeah. Oh no, 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 stupid baby zombie, baby zombie, no. God almighty, that, God, oh no, no. Oh, thank God they don't run as fast when they're on Slime Spike. God, that is terrifying. Oh God, that's terrifying. Yeah, I, you know, I'm just not gonna, I'm, I'm just gonna end the video right there. Um, goodbye, and thanks for watching. I'm, I'm terrified of baby zombies so much.